How good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world, and he is out to prove it right here, right now. is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Euclid, Ohio, USA, presenting the challenger, Magic Man. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 7 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tyron, the chosen one. Woodley! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, my fight. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by the gentleman He's doing a nice 
job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. And they separate. What a body kick. Just miss hitting the target flush. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from oh, his nice scramble down. by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back in range. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Ooh. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tight punch. Oh, huge kick. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just over 20 total strikes, as you see there, have now landed for Tyron Wood. Big punch lands over the top. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him bad. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Big kick land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, slips and rips. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Nice hook lands. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, big knee. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. Blocks the strike. Well, it looks like Woodley's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Both fighters here. He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Yeah, he's hurt really bad.
And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And up the head. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have landed for the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. And oh! Huge right hand! Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, and that one's not going to get back. The referee has seen enough. First by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is in here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter Wright champion of the world, Tyron the Chosen One, Woodley. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner.